I heard <laughs> But what was that? And so begins another interesting day. So today I have to drop off my old cell phone because it broke and then after this I got to go to the courthouse. So yeah, and then after that probably work on the Camry some more. So yeah. See if he'll do it again. I don't know if you guys can hear that. This horse is going wild over there. I heard him, like, I had my window closed and I heard him braying. Yeah. They're still going at it, too. <laughs> huh. That's kind of cool. That's kind of the cool thing about being out in the country too, is that there's always something cool to see. So, you know, I'm out there driving around and such. And next thing I know, I had my window like closed and I heard <laughs> going, what was that? That's the important thing. Don't live your life to where you don't enjoy those moments where you see something cool and have to stop and go, whoa, check it out. And it's really cool because I get to take you guys with me. Anyway, I know that a lot of older people are gonna be mad at me for saying this, but I had no idea that at turning 26, I was gonna to need to go and redo everything. Your, uh, your driver's license, your you know, concealed pistol license, and all of that stuff, it's just, uh, you know, I don't know. It's new to me, so it is what it is, but I think I mean, it's kind of fun at the same time because I get to go out and drive around, you know, and get to take advantage of one of my days off. It's nice. Because having a day off doesn't really exclude what I do for YouTube and music as opposed to just going to work. So it's nice to be able to have these days off. And it's such a pretty day, though. So it's nice. Kind of a nice little drive in the country. So let's go take a look at that. And then uh, we're going to run by the bank and then by the courthouse renew that and get the order to renew it and then go back to work on the Camry. Okay, so we made it here to the courthouse and uh, well, I don't think they allow photography inside so you guys are gonna have to stay out of here. Wish me luck. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. I got it. I got it, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it back home before we run out of daylight, So, which we are. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something really, really cool, okay? Ta-da! She's all kinds of cleaned up. And here's the best part. All right, ready for this? Starts right up. And we'll flip on the lights. Now watch this. And ta-da! We have brake lights. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. Check it out. So I got in here. I know it's still kind of dirty, but let's pull this cover back. Check it out. Now this is going to be the guaranteed fix to fix those brake lights. Now I looked online and I'll post the forum down in the description below. But if you look, there's a light green wire and a dark green wire that has a little silver spot on it. So both these have one silver spot. And this is a fusible link between these two. So this is a jumper. And that keeps this guy from burning up, which gives me brake lights and tail lights. So now we have officially working, we now have officially working tail lights. And now it's time to take it out for a drive. 
Okay, so it's not necessarily perfect because the little lights indicator is showing up and sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't, but that doesn't really matter. See, what matters is the fact that we get to drive this thing around. Also, I need to recharge the air conditioning system since the air conditioning system itself has been sitting for such a long time. And I'm sorry it's so loud since I have to basically drive with the window open because it's like been 95 degrees out here and I'm sorry it's taken a couple of like weeks for me to really show what's been going on but there's been a lot of hectic stuff going on in this state so we've had fires up north that have been blowing down here making out smoke for everybody and then on top of that it's been like 95 to 100 degrees and it makes it miserable to work outside at. but I'm happy and I hope this that fix actually shows you guys what to actually be able to do and just, hey, I love this car. I've had this thing since I was 15 and a half. It was the first car. It, was, it is super awesome. And uh, well, I don't know. I'm just kind of kind of without word because it's so cool. I don't know. I'm, I really love this car. I love it. It drives smooth. Suspension needs some work. AC needs some work. And there's some other little minor details need to be worked out in bugs. But I think this is going to be one of the little go-to cars from now on. And. Once it starts cooling down and I have AC, I'm going to have dogs in the back. So it is going to be absolutely awesome. So actually right now I'm on my way to Walmart. So I'm going to pick up a couple of brushes because i got to do some household chores and stuff. But uh, the best part about it is being able to park in a parking lot and not have to worry about people tearing up my, uh, tearing up my car with their car doors. And, oh, this is just this is fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. And then, I don't know what else I'm gonna get. I think I'm supposed to get brushes and something else. We'll find out. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. Okay, so I just finished my shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably sign off right here. I wanted to thank you guys very much for being patient with me. I know I haven't been posting like I should have been, but uh, the next episode, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use this for seal that trunk. Alright guys, well thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.